guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you guys want to learn about saving money and budgeting your money just stay tuned for this video but before you do make sure you like comment share and don't forget to subscribe you. You so let's get into the video today i'm going to talk about how to budget yourself how to save money how to basically make look make it look like you got money when you don't i'm kidding i actually don't have money i'm broke but basically just how to be smart about spending how to basically budget yourself and all that so i just have a few tips which i'm hoping you guys do some of them already because if not then make sure you stay tuned but i'm hoping you guys do some of them already anyways so first let's start off with make sure you split your check what i mean by that is when I first get my check, I make sure I send some to my savings account, some to my bills account, some, some to my expense, well, bill is expenses account, yeah. So I could actually budget and see how I'm going to manage my money for this for the paycheck, um, especially if you get paid bi-weekly, so you typically have two checks a month, so you really know how to budget. You don't want your bills to be due and you don't have any money left because you overlooked it or didn't pay attention to how you were spending your money so make sure you split your check like i like i said when i get my check i send some to my um savings some for expenses i know some bills that are due i know when my bills are due so i know how to kind of like manage it that way so another thing after splitting your bills make sure you have auto pay like seriously guys Auto pay is like lifesaver because you never forget to pay your bills. And some auto pay actually take off, um, give you a discount. Like T Mobile for my phone. I have auto pay, so they take off like $15 off my my bill every month. Just because I think it might be 10. But just because of auto pay, they take it off and they you're gonna have to pay it anyways. You might as well have it on auto pay and if you're worried about not having the money in your account then that's another problem because you should have it and not have late payments because then you have late fees and then that messes up your credit and all that so you don't want any of that so make sure i have auto pay for my phone i have auto pay for my life insurance bill i have auto pay for my health insurance bill i have auto pay for my gas bill auto pay for electricity you name it I have auto pay for everything so that way and I know when everything's gonna be due so that way I don't even have to like worry about late payment and forgetting to pay and all that so they just take the money right out of my account and I'm good so I said auto pay and another one is having separate accounts I'll show you guys um chase I don't know if any other things have it I'm gonna put like a side screen on the side so chase has like the option of um like i said you could put like an account for bills or something like that or you could directly add whoever you want to pay on your chase account so it's like on the left side you go to bills pay bills or whatever and then you'll see when everything is due and you you could choose the date you want them to withdraw the money so if you know you get paid whenever you get paid like if the 15th of every month is the best for you like for me i do 15th every month for a, a lot of like my, my bills because rent is when the first of the month so i do like 15th of the month and then first of the month so i have it half and half for all my bills and stuff so another thing I, I i would say is if you have a credit card make sure you have auto pay for that also because you don't want to forget to pay it and i know there's a minimum for every month like mine is like 25 bucks um every first of the month but i always try to pay twice so you always want to pay more than the minimum that's due not that i even i don't i barely use my credit card but um you want to make sure you pay more than the minimum that's due so sometimes i pay my credit card off before the minimum is even due because i barely use it i don't rely like too much on my credit card because i think of it as like for emergencies so i try not to use it that much so but if you do just make sure even if it's like 10 bucks just make sure you pay like 
twice a month or something and never use more than 30 percent of your credit card because that affects your credit score another thing is i would say is have more than one debit card so when i get paid my check gets you know deposit into one account but i always always kind of like send like 50 or 100 bucks to my other debit card because i like to think of it as if you know you don't want to spend too much like when you see that you have too much money on your account you tend to overspend sometimes so when you split the money between your credit your debit cards that way in your mind you won't think of oh i have money even though you have a hundred dollars on the other account i mean that was for me so you should do that so like once i put the hundred or whatever on my other um, account that i don't use that much so i think of it, it's not even there so like i don't think that i have too much money on my account um another thing i would say is make, make sure you have a savings account i don't even think that's that needs to be said any if you have a job you should have a freaking savings account like come on so i make sure every paycheck i make sure that money goes into my savings account like that's it i'm broke i'm broke <laughs> I'm broke, okay? I'm always broke because I make sure savings accounts gets paid, everything else gets paid. I have a travel savings account that gets paid. So if you ask me, I'm always broke, okay? So that actually brings, I mentioned like about the traveling savings account. So that brings me to make sure you have like whatever goal you have for the future make sure you open the savings account for that so i have my regular savings account and i have my traveling savings account so that could be anything for anybody so whatever you're getting married you have a saving account for that or whatever it may be just make sure you have a savings account like a regular savings account and a separate savings account i i that helps me a lot because going on vacation then you don't think that you have so much money because you're looking at your regular savings account thinking you have so much money but then you don't want to spend that money on vacation so i kind of have like a savings account for travel so then you could kind of budget yourself better when when to know like okay do you have enough to travel do you not blah 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 and so on so i would say also budget your expenses when i say that i mean by make lunch go grocery shopping make sure make make lunch for work just try to like save money any way you can like for me downtown brooklyn freaking food is expensive like in a week i would spend like easy 50 dollars because 10 bucks for food is a joke like you easily spend between lunch and breakfast you easily spend 15 15 dollars a day so times that by freaking five that's what i can't even do the math i think that's 75 so that's how much you're spending in a freaking month in a week so times that by four you're spending like over 300 dollars on food when you could just go grocery shopping and make lunch i mean that's easier said than done just even for me um but try to kind of be consistent with that and that's really gonna help you having extra cash in your pocket um another thing i would say is also try to find free activities to do also i gotta take my own advice for that one but like summer i went like okay spending 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 but now i was just like summer's over i'm never leaving my house okay <laughs> i'm staying my ass here every weekend not going anywhere unless it's free all right okay i'm dragging a little bit but i'm not you know find free things to do so i think that's pretty much that pretty much covers what i do at least so basically like i said again going over the checklist I split my check once I get it to like to bills, expensive savings and all all that. I also have auto pay. Not only that helps you with remembering to pay your bills so you don't have any late fees, but also some of them do give discounts for having auto pay. So make sure you check it out. Whatever companies you go, that's Wi-Fi. I think for our Wi-Fi also we get some discount and telephone bill. Everything else I think we're like, okay, chill. But um auto pay so you don't forget your bills to pay your bills have more than one debit card so you could kind of split the money that you 
you know you, you want to spend so you don't see too much money in your account and makes you want to spend more also make sure you have savings account savings account i would suggest to have more than one but that's to whatever you know whatever you could do um your credit card make sure you have it also on auto pay and always always try to pay more than the minimum or try to pay twice a month and spend less than 30 percent if like again if you can but if that's if that's not feasible for you then that's fine of course then budget your expenses try to spend less money on food shopping shopping when necessary and um, just because it's on sale doesn't mean you need it <laughs> So, and the last but not least, I think I said find fun things to do. So that way, I think it works for me and I'm not making that much money. So it's not like I, I think anybody could do it, honestly. If you make more than minimum wage, then you should be able to save money. And I'm actually like very excited because I think I'm gonna reach my savings goals for this year. So that's exciting and um, I really try to like literally limit myself like I'm all about like that mental note like sis you broke you don't have it you may have it but you don't have it okay let's just think that you don't have it so um, I think that's all the tips I have um, if you guys have any tips actually that I could try out just make sure to leave it in the comment below um, anything that can help you know so just let me know alright guys have a good day.